Hello everyone! So welcome back in our class. So we now have lesson number 5. And you know what lesson number 5? It is all about artist and artisan. So on the previous, what do we call this one? Lesson. We discuss more on the subject, content. We even discuss about assumption of art. Diba? We also have different philosophical um, foundations when we talk about art. But here, let's get to know the difference between artist and artisan. So without further ado, let's start. So when we talk about artist, so in short, artist, it is focused more on what? Creative arts or aesthetic arts. So we have, or it ranges from painting to music. Therefore, we have Angeline Quinto. Ano yung tawag natin sa kanya? Artist or artisan? Artist. Kasi sa music siya aligned. We also have Fernando Amorsolo. Do you think, he, is he an artist or an artisan? Of course, an artist. And you know what? Artist is not only attributed for those who create art as an occupation. Because you know what? There are some artists here in our country who are what? It serves as their work. But you know what? Aside from painting to music, so it also includes performances, performance art, theater, and the like. It also includes, matatawag rin nating artist if they are skilled in particular activities such as drawing, designing, composing. So therefore, we have this, so we have Maktumang. So Maktumang, he, he can also be what? Under artist because he is a fashion designer. We also have artisan. So the difference between artist and artisan, so artisan focus more on or they are what? A skilled worker. So more on craftsmanship ito. So making use of what? Hands. So ano ba yung ginagawa ng mga artisan? So we have jewelry, furniture, you also have poetry. So yun. So nakita nyo na ang difference between artist and artisan? Okay. <laughs> and now we have three processes. Of course, as an artist or artisan, we have three processes when it producing art. So, we have pre-production, pro-production or, anong pro-production? Production and post-production. So, of course, the first one is pre-production. So, para mas madali nyo maintindihan, example, the national costume of Catriona Gray. Before they could come up with that artwork or masterpiece, of course, in the pre-production stage, they gather first information. Diba? The name of the national costume of Catriona Gray is, of course, Luz Viminda. So, of course, they gather facts or they d did research from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And aside from that one, they are also what? Preparing the materials to be used for that um, what do we call this one? National costume. So that is the pre-production stage. When we talk about the production stage, if in pre-production, it is more on planning. Here in the production stage, ito ni yung implementation of their plan, of their researches. So therefore, in the production stage, ito ni yung gagawin na nila yung national costume ni Catriona Gray. And we also have the post-production stage, of course, after production, nagawa na yung national costume ni Catriona Gray. So therefore, they need to showcase it. So of course, in the national co um, costume segment of the Miss Universe. Okay? So we also have medium and technique. So when we talk about medium, it is our mode of expression. So diba, we tend to express it through painting, through pottery through dance, through music. So, we call that one as medium. Or, ano yung mode or way natin to express our ideas, concepts, and the like. When we talk naman technique, so of course, it is more on technical. Like, for example, some other books, they tend to say that pointillism, it is a technique. Cubism, 
it is also a technique so there are a lot of techniques that were in we could really what search depending on the artwork work that you will do so engagement with art how do we engage ourselves with art so of course if you are a painter you engage your audiences in your artwork through what exhibit we also have art gallery museum so who among you here ang nakapunta na sa tagom di ba mayroon silang museum doon okay so if you were able to visit the museum of tagom di ba mayroon silang in exhibit na mga bagay-bagay doon and who among you here already what um attended a what art exhibit okay so if you Okay, I know dominant of you were not able to experience that. So, we tend to experience that by watching what? In television, mga drama, di ba nakikita natin yung artist as, as well as their respective artwork. And of course, we have different award-giving bodies here in our country. But when we talk about art, we have these two major... Um, award giving bodies so we have the art we have the order ng pambansang lagad ng sining or the order of national artists we also have the gamapa we have the gawad sa manilika ng bayan or the national living treasures award you know what the order of national artists it is the highest national recognition giving to filipino individuals who have made significant contributions to the development of Philippine arts. So therefore, it doesn't end with painting only. So it co goes with music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, broadcast arts, and architecture as well as allied arts. From Aside from the this one, we also have the Gamaba. Okay, and you know what? The very first recipient of this award was the painter Fernando Amorsolo. You know what? Fernando Amorsolo is known as Grand Old Man of Philippine Arts. So of course, elementary, high school pa lang tayo. We tend to hear the name of Fernando Amorsolo. He is a very so such good um, painter, diba? So we have some example of his works here. And you know what? Of course, hindi lang si Fernando Amorsolo ang nabigyan ng award. We also have 66 awardees. Of course, hindi na natin iisa-isayin yan kasi masyado ng marami. So, of course, we have the following na matatanggap ng mga awardees. So, we have the rank and title as proclaimed by the President of the Philippines. So, amazing, di ba? A medallion or insignia and a citation that will be read during the confirmment. The cash awards and a host of benefits of a monthly life pension, medical and hospitalization benefits, life insurance coverage. A state funeral and burial at Libingan ng mga bayani, Hero Cemetery. And of course, a place of honor or designated arena during national state function along with recognition or acknowledgement at cultural event. So, of course, the most recent conferment was in 2016. So, of course, the Gawad Manilika ng Bayan or the National Treasures Award was created in 1992 under the RA 7355. Okay. And you know what, this Gamaba, sino na ang nakareceive nito? So we have the first conferred to three outstanding artists sa larangan ng music as well as poetry. We have Ginaw Bilog, the master of Ambahan Poetry. We also have Masino Intaray, master of various traditional music, instrument, and Palawan of the Palawan people rather. Samaon Sula Sul Maiman the master of the kujapi and other instrument. So, remember ninyo ang tatlong ito. So, they was awarded with gamaba or gawad sa manlikha ng bayan. And of course, 
aside from the incentives na ma-receive doon sa national artist, you also have incentives to be received if you, you were what awarded with a what? Gamaba. A special design gold medallion, an initial grant of 100,000 and 10,000 monthly stipend. And of course, benefits such as with a cumulative amount of 750,000 medical and hospitalization benefits. And of course, the same with the national artists. So, they have funeral assistance or tribute fit for a national living treasure. So, of course, I would like to give credit to the reporters. Um, they are BS at English to be for making this PowerPoint presentation. This is such an amazing PPT. So thank you so much.